All right. And to honor the life and legacy of Alex Trebek, I will be doing a Friends showdown on Jeopardy for the week. This will be... This is another long-awaited showdown I've yet to do. This one will be between Ross, Phoebe, and Chandler. Last time Ross and Chandler played, Joey was against them. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Thank you, Trebek. Thank you, Trebek. <laughs> edition. Good luck to Phoebe, Chandler, and Ross. Here are the categories. Jeopardy categories are Roman, Roman art, parts of speech, parts of speech, TVMDs, TVMDs historic, historic women, women a, in a in geography, and animals. And animals. All right, where do we start, Ross? One, start. I think we'll start with Roman art for 200. So clue, but let's take it over to Kelly. This giant amphitheater was one of the great achievements of Roman art. Ross, okay. What well, is the, the Colosseum? Or press the corresponding direct. Curve. Yes, that's correct. Go again, Ross. Okay, let's try Roman art for four. Carved in Rome, the Pieta is the only work signed by this sculptor. Ross, let's hear it. Layer who one. was Michelangelo? <laughs> Correct. Go so again, Mr. Geller. Please I will do Roman art for 600. Own. In Rome's Cerasi Chapel is Caravaggio's painting of the conversion of this saint. Chandler. It's player three. Who is Paul? Yes. Go so again, Mr. Bing. Okay. Player Let's three. do Roman art for 800, please. A fresco by Raphael shows Pope Leo I pleading with this ruthless barbarian to spare Rome. Phoebe. Yes, player two. What is a Tilla? Yes. Oh. Go again, Miss Buffet. Hmm. You get to pick again. Roman art for a thousand. Legend has it that Mark Antony's wife stabbed this orator's tongue after his death. Ross. Okay, player one. Who is Cicero? That's, That's correct, two. Mr. Geller. Go again. Choose again. Player I will one. take. TVMDs for 200, please. JD, Turk, and Dr. Cox have practiced on this series. Phoebe. Yes, player two. What is Grey's Anatomy? Oh. Uh, no. Anyone else care to Ross or Chandler? A direct response? Chandler. Let's hear uh, it. Player what two. is, uh, Scrubs is correct. Go again, Mr. Bing. I'll try TVMDs for 400. Maria Bello and Sherry Stringfield are among the many who doctored up this long-running NBC show. Ross. It's player one. What is ER? Yes. Choose again, Mr. Geller. Player one. I'll try TVMDs for 600. Doctors Lisa Cuddy and Allison Cameron have roamed Princeton Plainsboro Hospital with this acerbic title dump. Ross? One. Whose house? Yeah. Gregory House, that's yeah. right. Ross, go again. Select I will try TVMD's for eight. Dr. Kavanaugh, the first name would give things away, was a Boston ME with a checkered past on this drama. Ross? Yes, player one. What is Crossing Jordan? <laughs> yep. Go again. I will we try return to you, player one. MDs for a gram. We dig forensic anthropologist Dr. Temperance Brennan on this Fox drama. Ross. Player one. What is Bones? Yep. Of course. Go again. Player one. I will take parts of speech for 600. 
I killed a man in Reno just to watch him die in Uh, Ross? Okay, layer one. What is preposition? Yes! yes! Right. Go. All right, go again. Uh, 400 go again. on parts of speech. Rodney Dangerfield said, When I was born, I was so ugly, the doctor slapped my mother. Ugly. BB. It's player What's two. an adjective? That's right. Go again, Miss Buffet. You get to pick again. I'll try parts of speech for 200. Dream. When you're feeling blue, dream. That's the thing to do. Dream. Chandler. Let's hear it. What is a verb? Yes. Time for second place with feet. Go again. Player three. You Hard speech for grand. So when you're happy, hooray, or sad, awe, or frightened, eek, or mad, rats. Hooray, awe, eek, rats. Phoebe. Yes, player two. What is, uh, what are prepositions? No, no, what are interjections? You got yep. it. Yep. You corrected yourself. Go again. Player two. Back Speech to free. You. We know you're very smart, but are you smart enough to know? Very. Chandler. Let's hear it, player three. Um, what is a prep? Wait, hold on. What's an adverb? That's correct, Mr. Bain. Okay, choose again, Chandler. Choose again. Play I will take A in geography for for two hundred, please. This ancient city is the capital of Greece. This is a game. Chandler. Okay, player three. What is that? Oh, what is Athens? Correct. In geography Again, for four. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. It's the name of the island seen here, mate. Phoebe. It's like what is Phoebe. Australia? Of course. That's correct. Choose again. Please pick again. In geography six. Mont Blanc is the highest peak in these mountains. Ross. Layer one. Uh. What is the, what are the Andes? Oh. Uh, no. Uh, Chandler, Phoebe? Guess on this? Phoebe. Let's hear it. Play what is the Alps? Perhaps of course. Two. That's more like it. Go again. Layer two. 800 on in geography. Kabul is its capital. Uh, Ross. It's player one. What is Afghanistan? Yes! Go again, Mr. Geller. We I will do a geography one. for a grand. Oh, Daily Double! Uh, Answer. Ross. The daily double. I think I'm going to bet. Right How much are you going to wager, player one? I'll bet 1800. No, no, 800. Answer this. Known to the Romans as Numidia. It borders the Mediterranean. Oh, man. What's Algeria? Correct. It is correct. Go again, Mr. You get Geller. To again, layer one. I'll take historic women for 200. This secretary of state, whose first name is from a musical term, had originally planned to be a concert pianist. Chandler. Player three. Oh boy, what is. Um, uh, who is uh, Condoleezza Rice? Correct. Choose again. Mr. Bain. Player three. Uh, to you. Historic Women for four. Shortly after her disappearance, her publisher, husband George Putnam, released Last Flight containing her diaries. Phoebe. Yes, player two. Hmm. Who is Amelia Earhart? She's the one. Hmm. 
Hmm. We return to you. This one woman six. The Moses of her people. She helped hundreds of slaves escape along the Underground Railroad. Phoebe. Okay, layer two. Who is Harriet Tubman? Hey, yep, hey. she's the one we were after. Go again. 800, please. She met her beloved teacher, Anne Sullivan, in 1887. Chandler. It's player three. Oh boy. Who is Helen Keller? That's is correct. Right. Choose again. Mr. Bain. You again. I'll player do historic women for a grand. This first American woman in space heads a company geared to girls who are interested in science and math. Phoebe? Yes, player two. Um, who is uh Sally Ride? Good. Yes. Go again, Miss Buffet. Select again. Animals is all that's left. Let's do 200. The striped species of this mammal is identifiable by the two white stripes down its back forming a V. Oh, boy. Chandler. Player three. What's a skunk? Oh. Is correct. Uh, 400, please. Choose again. Player three. The cape species of this bovine of southern Africa is extremely dangerous to man and has never been domesticated. Ross. Okay, player one. What is, uh, a buffalo? You <laughs> right. Choose again. Ross, uh, 600, one. please. Back. Let's go to the clue crew for this next clue. The cuddly koala feeds almost exclusively on the leaves of this tree of the myrtle family. Ross. Let's hear it, player one. What is the eucalyptus? That yes. Is correct. Choose again, Mr. Geller. I will take player one. Animals three. Again. On the Galapagos Islands, the marine type of this lizard feeds on algae that it gathers off rocks at low tide. Chandler. Okay, player three. Um, what is uh Salamander. No! Ross or Phoebe? Anyone else? Phoebe. It's player two. What is the uh, iguana? Yes. Right. Last clue. And here's the thousand dollar clue. This small Andean rodent is prized for its fur, which can be gray with a deep blue underfur. Uh, Ross. Let's hear it, player one. What is, uh... What's a chinchilla? What's a... Uh, what's a mink? Aww. No! Sorry. Phoebe Anyone or Chandler? Can hazard a guess on this? Chandler. Yes, player three. Um, what's a chinchilla? Cold yes! Effect. And that, So you're gonna go first in double jeopardy, Chandler. Player three is going first in the double jeopardy round, which starts... Categories for the double jeopardy, double jeopardy categories. Here they are: a new, a new awakening, awakening, the founding, the founding fathers, fathers, martial arts, martial arts, catching some Z's, catching some Z's, note the quotation marks. P, P is for, for physics. P is for physics. And what are, and what are you made of? Okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you make the next. All right, Chandler. Continue. We'll start with. Um, what do you made up for 400? Queen Elizabeth II at Madame Tussauds. Chandler? Player three. Uh, what is wax? Of course. Choose again, Mr. Bing. Player I will three. take what do you made up for 800? Moses by Michelangelo at San Pietro in Vincoli, Rome. Phoebe? Okay, player two. What is marble? Yep. Yes. Go again, Miss Buffet. Choose again. 1,200 on Choose. what are you made of? Oh, daily double feed. <laughs> I think I'm going to wager. You are in first place. 4,400. Here is your daily double clue. To come see on Cheers. What is wood? 
That yeah. You ahead. That puts you ahead of Ross. Okay, choose again, Phoebe. Back to you for our next Made it for episode. 16? And here's Kelly. The warriors of China's first Qin Emperor are made of this. It's Italian for baked earth. Ross. Yes, player one. Um, what is terracotta? Yeah. Yep. Good. Go again, Mr. Yeller. You get to um, again. Made up for 2000? St. John the Baptist by Donatello at Siena Cathedral. Uh, Ross. Player one. What is bronze? That's correct. Go again, Mr. Select again. Uh, Yeller. Okay. I'll try martial arts. For two, 400, please. In early April of 1775, William Dawes, Samuel Prescott, and this man rode to warn patriots to move military stores from Concord. Phoebe. Player two. Hmm. What? Who is Paul Revere? Yes! What's next, Miss Buffet? Player two. Pick again. Um, 800? Three years after writing the Declaration of Independence, he succeeded Patrick Henry as Virginia governor. Ross. Let's hear it, player one. Who is, uh, uh, who is Thomas Jefferson? Uh huh. Let's you try again, player one. 1600 on the Founding Fathers. All right, here with the clue is Kelly. A 1775 letter from this Founding Father to the Pennsylvania Journal is thought to have inspired the Don't Tread on Me flag. I'm going to say Founding Fathers. Ross. Player one. Uh, who is, uh, I mean, I picked the wrong category by mistake. That's all right. Who is, um, uh, Who is, who is, um, Benjamin Franklin? Yeah! I'll take 2,000 on County Fathers. In public good, this pamphleteer called for Virginia to seed land needed to form a strong central government. Ross. Okay, layer one. Who is Thomas Paine? Right. Yep. Okay, choose again. I will take Founding Fathers for 1,200. On July 3rd, 1776, he wrote to his wife Abigail that the colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states. Phoebe. Yes, player two. Who is uh, John, a John Adams? Yeah. Go again, miss. Please pick up um, player two. Okay. I will take... Can I chase some Z's for 400? Each defender guards a section of the playing area in this system of sports defense. Ross. It's player one. What is a zone? Well, yes. I will take for player one. 1600. Here's Kelly. It's the point on the celestial sphere vertically above a given position. Chandler. Let's hear it, player three. What is uh, Zenith? Good. Yeah. Okay, go again. You again. Let's take player three. Z's for 12. Oh, daily double, Chandler. Oh, boy. I will wager. You're in last place, but here's an opportunity to catch up. Decide 1600. On player three. Answer. Two word term for the weightlessness experienced by astronauts in orbit. What's zero gravity? Yep. Go again, Chandler. I will take Select again. 2000 on catching Z's. The Lozi people moved to higher ground during the annual flooding of this African river. Ross, okay, player one. What is the Zambezi? Yes. Yep. Choose again, player one. 
Uh, give me Z's for eight. This Italian squash can be eaten raw, steamed, or grilled, or baked in a sweet bread. Ross? Let's hear it, layer one. What is zucchini? And Can that's correct. Choose again. Layer one. I will take to you for our next selection. Martial arts for eight. In karate, a hiji is a strike with this body part. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You know what I mean? Yes, uh, too. Phoebe? Hmm. Um. Um. Hmm. Uh, what is the fist? Oh. No. Okay. Anyone else? Roster Chandler? Ross. Layer one? Um, oh uh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. Um, uh, what is, uh, hmm, what is the foot? Oh. Nuh-uh. Chandler, want to try it? to try to come up with a correct response? Chandler, it's player three. Uh, what is the elbow? <laughs> That's it. You I will take, take again, player three. Hmm, can I take 1600 on martial arts? Yes, you may. Krav Maga is the official self-defense system of this Mideast country's defense forces. Ross. Player one. What is Israel? Yep. That's correct. Choose again. Two thousand on martial Fire arts. One. Back to you. A Balkan and a Shinai are two types of swords used in this Japanese martial art, whose name means "way of the sword." Ross. It's layer one. What is kendo? That is yeah. Correct. Let's do uh, twelve hundred on martial one. arts. The folding Filipino fighting knife called a balisong is also known by this insect name. Chandler. Okay, player three. What's a butterfly knife? That yep. Go again, Chandler. Player three. You pick a Martial arts player. for a four. In the West, the ninja combat weapons known as shuriken are called throwing these. Phoebe? Yes, player two. What are stars? Very yeah. good. What's next, Miss Buffet? Player two. Pick again. Hmm. Try P is for physics. For 400. It's the P in P equals force times velocity. Uh, Let's Chandler. Hear player three. Who, uh, uh, what is, uh, Power. Yeah. That's right. Choose again. Please Let's try 800 on physics. Three. This element, PU, was first detected in a cyclotron at Berkeley in 1940. Phoebe? Yes, please. What is two. plutonium? <laughs> Correct. Go again. Select again. 1600 on P's for physics. The bob of a simple one of these moves with simple periodic motion. Chandler. Let's hear it, player three. What is the pendulum? Correct. Go again, Mr. Bain. 1,200 on physics. A cube is an example of a rectangular one of these. A Pink Floyd cover displays a triangular one. Ross. Player one. What's prism? Yes. Correct. Choose again. 
Choose again, layer one. One thousand on uh, two thousand on piece for physics. It's an elementary light particle, also called a fuzzy ball. Ross. It's layer one. It's a photon. Right. Of course. Please pick again. Layer Nude one. awakening for four hundred. In 1953, he produced the first issue of Playboy for ten thousand uh, dollars. Okay, layer BD. two. Who's Hugh Hefner? Very good. Uh, layer eight hundred, please. Uh, no buts about it. David Caruso, Jimmy Smiths, and Dennis Franz all turned the other cheek on this cop show. Ross. It's layer one. What is NYPD Blue? Yes! Uh, 2,000. Layer New one. Awakening. You pick again. No, no, 1,200. Kathleen Turner and Jerry Hall weren't close-minded playing Mrs. Her in the stage version of The Graduate. Phoebe? Player two. Hmm. Who is, um... Who's Miss Robinson? Correct! <laughs> Or you get to pick again. Trying to escape his teen idol image, this Partridge Family star posed nude for Rolling Stone in 1972. Chandler. Okay, player three. Who is David Cassidy? Right. That's right. Wait, Not the last clue. Now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? We shall his indeed. Nude descending a staircase. Number two. Shocked viewers at the Armory show. It was is Marcel, Duchamp. Marcel Duchamp. It looks like you all get to play Final Jeopardy. Like you'll all be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this break. Here's today's category for Final Jeopardy is 19th century, 19th inventions. century inventions. You need to select your version. All right, place your bets, guys. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Here you are, players. The final Jeopardy, final Jeopardy clue is... One description of it said, Its spokes look like cobwebs. They're after the fashion of those on the newest bicycles. All right. See how you guys did. Your response? Chandler's response. What is Ferris wheel? How much Absolutely correct. How much was his wager? 2400 So Chandler winds up with 15000 Did you come up with the correct See if response? Phoebe said Ferris wheel. Yes, she did. And what was her wager? And that correct response $400. So she is tied for second place with Chandler at 15000 Let's see your response. Did Ross say Ferris wheel? He did. With that ah! And how much will he add to his total? $6,000, making him finish with a winning total of $30,000. Congratulations, ah! Mr. Geller. All right. Yes. I'll see you for my next gameplay, guys. So long.